Hi everybody, Karen Roby and Veronica Combs here for Tech Republic, and we're talking today um, about you know technology. We talk so often, of course, here on Tech Republic about uh, IoT and artificial intelligence, Veronica, and, and projects involving these uh, two forms of technology that there's so much potential, but getting these things to work. It's not easy. It's not easy, right. So, <laughs> so I know you put together a great article here about uh, you know taking a look at this and why some projects fail, why some succeed. So what do you find in here? So it was interesting this week. Um, Accenture did a report about artificial intelligence mm -hmm. and PwC did a report about IoT, you know, Internet of Things. And both of the, the goal is to figure out who's making this work, mm -hmm. who's moving from pilot to actual implementing this as part of the regular production or part of regular business practices. And um, they both kind of came to the same conclusions about how to succeed with these two different types of technology. And I think the real, what caught my eye was with the Accenture study, only 16% of the companies that they surveyed, it was 1,000 companies, um, could make it work at scale. And most companies are stuck with AI in these pilot projects, and it's a test, and it's a limited demonstration project or something. And so 16%, given how much we talk about all this right. technology, you it's You think really, it's way higher. Yeah, you think it's way higher. So to me, that really illustrated how, how hard it is to get this right. Mm -hmm. And I, so you have to work together. Collaboration was key for both AI and IoT. Mm -hmm. And basically, the CEO has to be fully on board. You have to have a broad team. It can't just be a lone champion saying we have to do this because it's important. It has to be a team that covers all your data scientists and your network engineers and your security people. Even um, you know some of the marketing people mm -hmm. should be in on these conversations. So to make this work, you have to have collaboration. And um, both of the reports also talked about trust a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if you heard about the the Apple Goldman Sachs card, right. but you know the, the husband in the relationship got a high credit uh, <laughs> allowance and the wife got a lower one, and so companies are beginning to realize that people have to trust this technology to use it, mm -hmm. whether it's you as a customer or me as an employee, and so trust was sort of running through both of these reports and saying how. Collaboration helps build that kind of trust. Mm -hmm. If you see it working in your workplace, you'll, you'll think, oh, well, maybe it's okay. Maybe it's not going to, you know, take over my car and run me off the road or, <laughs> or lock me out of my bank that. account. Yeah, so yeah. Um, collaboration is really important. Um, working with um, a broad team and getting um, CEO buy-in is really mm -hmm. crucial, whether you're working with artificial intelligence or Internet of Technology projects. Because the potential is there, right? We talk about so often mm -hmm. how with, you know, with IoT devices and, and working that in and, and AI, I mean, the possibilities are endless, but just getting it moving along and, and keeping it on course is way more, I think, to it than what Right. What seems to be. Right. And um, the reports found that there are actually financial benefits for getting it to work. Mm -hmm. So um, there was a 30% lift in several really key financial metrics if you can collaborate, have specific goals, have a timeline. So it's worth the effort, but it's a lot of effort to get it right. Yeah, most certainly, and, and can cost a whole lot. So right. <laughs> you have to invest time, money, and, and dedication. Yeah, most certainly. Well, if you want to read more uh, about the reports and see Veronica's article there, make sure you check out Tech Republic. Thanks for watching.